If you're not quite sure what the president's position is on Syria, there could be a reason. Listen to what Jay Carney told reporters at Tuesday's White House briefing. The credibility of the Assad regime here is obviously close to zero, and it is our firm conviction that Syria's future cannot include Assad in power. Sounds like Assad must go, right? Well, not so fast, my friends. Carney, just minutes earlier, said this. And I want to make clear uh, that the options that we are considering are not about regime change. Right. So joining us now to talk about the administration's messaging challenges, CNN political contributor and former advisor to Mitt Romney's presidential campaign, Kevin Madden, former White House communications director, Anita Dunn, and CNN senior political analyst, David Gergen, who has been to Syria, I should say, with two different administrations. Guys, thanks so much for being here. David, let me start with you. How would you grade the president's selling of his administration's plan in Syria right now. How's he doing? He's, it's totally incomplete. I mean, at the moment, you have to give him a C- because nothing's happened. I do think when he, when he acts, as he will, he'll address the nation in prime time, and then that's the proper time to make a real assessment. The question is how well he can sell it in that speech, because it's not going to be easy. Has there been too long, though? It was Secretary Kerry who spoke on Monday. Vice President Biden spoke on Tuesday, but no real solid, firm words from the president? Well, I, I think it would have been better had he been taking the lead from the start. Um, you even have to ask, should he have drawn the red line way back when? Would he be doing this today where had he not drawn that red line in an offhanded comment? I'm not sure. That, that leads me to a question to Anita here right now. The, the cover of Time magazine, we, we showed it before, but I want to show it again right here. It shows the president as the unhappy warrior suggesting that he's not at all pleased about what he's being forced to do or the decisions he's being left with right now. Is he being dragged into something that he doesn't want to deal with? Well, John, I don't think there's any president who'd ever be happy at being faced with the idea of having to use military force. It's not a happy time, and it's one that obviously this president, as is the case with presidents before him, takes very seriously. That was the case with the, the, the very tough decision he made in 2009 to send more troops to Afghanistan in order to be able to bring them home. It's been the case with every time he's had to use military force. But this is a president who approaches these issues deliberately and with a, a, you know, a steady...